Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionary, and today you're going to learn how to use LUT all inside Final Cut Pro. All great movies and great videos have a very specific color tone that you see throughout the video, and one quick way to achieve this is by applying a LUT to your footage. A LUT, or lookup table, is a file that when applied to your footage, remaps the color palette of that footage. Take this footage on your timeline. When I apply an orange and teal LUT, popularized by the likes of Michael Bay and Sam Calder, notice how the color palette of the whole shot changes. So in this video, you're going to learn how to apply your own or third party LUT and adjust it to match your footage. Before the recent update to 10.4, you had to install a third-party LUT loader which added a lot of bloat and slowed down Final Cut Pro. Since that update, Final Cut Pro has added a drag and drop effect so you can apply LUTs seamlessly within Final Cut Pro. To add the custom LUT effect, go to your effects browser or press Command 5 and search for custom LUT. You can also find the custom LUT effect inside of the color folder. Drag and drop the effect onto your footage. From here, you should see the custom LUT effect has been applied and displays in the video inspector. But notice the footage hasn't seen any change. That's because we now need to apply a LUT to our footage. So your next step is to import a new LUT or apply a LUT you've previously added. To import a new LUT, hit the LUT dropdown and choose custom LUT. From here, select the folder of LUTs or a single LUT you would like to add. By holding the command key, you can also select multiple to import at the same time. Final Cut Pro can only read .cube files, so if you don't have any .cube file LUTs, check out some of the awesome packs we have available at Motion Array. Once you've selected your LUT, LUTs, or folder, hit open. For the footage on my timeline, I'll be using LUT 8 from the film LUT pack. If we toggle the custom LUT effect off and back on again, we can see the difference the LUT has made to our footage. Since a LUT applies a very specific color tone to any footage, it's possible the LUT could be overpowering. To reduce the impact the LUT has on your footage, you can adjust the mix slider for further adjustments. You may want to consider how your footage was shot and how you wish to export, so you can adjust the input and output settings. Having said that, Rec. 709 is most commonly used, so unless you know there to be a difference, we suggest leaving this as is. And there you have it. You've just learned how to apply your own LUT and customize them to match your unique style. So guys, that's it from me, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use LUTs inside Final Cut Pro helpful. And feel free to check out all our awesome transitions, effects, stock footage, and more we have to offer at Motion Array. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.